I went to the water that is um, River Niger to perform some rituals so that I'll give birth to life, child. Even on that very day, crocodile would have swallowed me. It's just the grace of God. Florence Onwasoya could not hold back her tears as she narrates her experience as a result of Rezo's incompatibility with her husband. She lost nine pregnancies in 12 years of her marriage before help finally came her way. Presently I have one, but before that one, I have lost nine. That nine I lost, some was miscarriages and some was still birth. And um, I never knew what negative, Rezo's negative was all about. I've not heard about it. Even when I got married, I took in, I used hospitals and they never told me anything about Rezo's negative and that is the truth. Um, not until after losing a lot. So one of the hospitals we went to was one of the clinics at uh, SS Mulumba and David. That was uh, when we wanted to wait. So on getting to that place, they said we have to run blood tests to see if we are compatible. And I told them we've been living together because we've done um, traditional, traditional marriage for a very long time. This one is just white wedding, but they said we must follow uh, procedures. I said, okay. So after the, that was when the doctor now told me that I am Rezo's negative. In short, what he told us was that we are not compatible. That we can't go ahead with the wedding. My marriage, my husband being an uh, Igbo trader, an Igbo tra uh, businessman, did not understand him. Even me, that was educated, I didn't even understand what he was talking about resource negative and he didn't break it down in a way we will understand and you didn't ask for that question i did i did what i asked him is why can't we get married he said i cannot give birth to life children that was what he said so my husband got up he was angry you know i was like come now let's talk he left me there i came to the house to meet him, he was just making calls, talking, he has been wasting money. After losing like six, that was when we had that, that I'm Rezo's negative. But that man didn't tell us that there is yeah, a remedy. you can do about it. You understand? He didn't tell, tell us. So 2007, I took in again. I carried the pregnancy to seven months plus. So seven months plus, I was in my shop then. I had the same problem, water coming out and every other thing. After the operation, I lost her too. I lost her at Lutz. Because they say they don't have the equipment to incubate the child. Christiana Ken Achapo is another Nigerian woman who had had a harrowing experience in an attempt to have a second child. After my first child, I took the injection. Then the second child, I had a miscarriage. I didn't know that if you have a miscarriage or an abortion or a topic pregnancy, you're supposed to take that same injection. The injection is to prevent your body from, from building antibodies that is going to fight any positive resource, positive baby in your womb. So after my first miscarriage, I didn't take it, I didn't know about it. The second, third, fourth, and fifth. It was the second, no, the fourth miscarriage, I, and now I started asking questions. What is wrong with me? Then my first child was six, was you know, five. I was like, what is wrong with me? Something is wrong somewhere. So I started reading, I started reading until I found out that 
if you are a resource negative mother you must have this injection even when you have a miscarriage that i didn't do so that is why my body has built up an antibody that is fighting against the baby for these women early knowledge of their resource factor and the necessary precautions to take would have saved them this ordeal many women globally have had similar experiences due to lack of information about Rezo's disease and in Nigeria, the situation is not any different. Rezo's disease, according to medical experts, is a condition where antibodies in a pregnant woman's blood destroy her baby's cells. This hemolytic disease has become a significant devastating public health problem that results to stillbirths miscarriages and neonatal deaths. Sadly, many women are ignorant of their status. In fact, some are unable to differentiate between blood group and genotype. But which one is your genotype? Which one is your blood group? My blood group is PM. Yeah, all positive. So my genotype is AA. Do you know what your resource factor is in that your blood group? Red factor. Resource. Resource factor. Factors. In Nazi in was. Your blood group. Mm, some we are strong. So I can do many things to my ability. Uh, my blood group is eh hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. eh. Hey, hey. It's my blood then uh, positive. Okay, your blood group is, your genotype is A. Uh, what of your blood group? Hmm? Oh now. Positive. Okay, you are also positive. Uh, I don't have the idea. So I don't. positive? What do you think it is? Yeah, because it's a, it's a universal donor that you can donate to anybody. Yes. How many children do you have? I have two kids. Girls? A girl and a boy. Do you know they are blood Sure. O positive, yes, O positive, yes. Do you know your blood? What of your genotype? Do you know your genotype? My genotype is a A. a, a. What is your blood group? Blood group is A O. Mm -mm. I don't forget. Oh. My geno my blood group is O O, something like that. What's positive. Positive. My blood group uh, A positive. A positive. Yes. Okay. Do you know what the resource factor in that blood group is? The resource D positive. Which? I do not know. It. What's your genotype? I do not know that one. I have not done that one. What of your blood group? O positive. Okay. Is there any, any issue with anybody with negative? Yes. Okay, tell us. Mm. The issue is that they have to collect uh, injection when they are pregnant. Because if they did not collect it, they will, uh, their baby will be, they will be losing the baby. Do you know the resource factor in that your body? In my body? The, that's a zero negative now, but I don't have it. Out of the nation's women population of 86 million, according to the National Population Commission, Statistics by Resource Solution Initiative puts the number of resource negative Nigerian women at 2.7 million, a development experts consider rather disturbing. Before the mother will produce the resource anti antibody against this resource antigen, the baby will have been born. So that is why usually the first baby would escape. But this antibody has been formed. So the woman gets pregnant again. And the baby happens to also inherit the D antigen from the father. The mother has been sensitized. It has already produced an antibody waiting to fight the resource antigen. So the mother's antibody will now start fighting the baby's red cell. So what the next baby would suffer is that the baby will be short of red cell, what we call short of blood or what we call anemia. And if this anemia is so severe, that pregnancy will abort. If it's not so severe, while the baby is still in utero, the baby will be born. 
but the baby will be born with very severe jaundice. The product of this breakdown that causes jaundice will go into the brain and give the baby what we call mental retardation. So sometimes, some of this baby that is born and they have severe jaundice and they do not get access to good medical care, that is how they become mentally retarded. Beyond the income drain and pains the situation does inflict on families, Rezo's incompatibility is also known to leave women with psychological trauma during pregnancy or when they see their babies jaundiced and always falling sick. You have a baby that is born ill, I mean sick, or you have a stillbirth in the severest of forms. Um, for the baby, the antibodies, usually of the what we call the IgG type, pass through the placenta and start destroying the red cells of the unborn baby. In terms of severity, a child may be born with just a mild what we call anemia, low blood levels. As it gets worse, you could be born with what we call hemolytic disease of the newborn. Rezo's disease, according to health experts, can be addressed through the administration of anti-D immunoglobulin drugs. But how available and affordable are these? It's um, a bit expensive, about 30,000 naira per shot per vial. And um, in a country where people are still pressuring the government to make it the minimum wage. It's understandable that a significant population of people who may fall into this category might not be able to afford this very important drug. The cost of the injection is too much. Do you know that even when I remember the price of that injection, inside me I'll be scared because I know I can't afford it. Even now, I can't afford it. Mrs. Banire gave it to me free of charge. Then, she has a lot, one million and one people she's giving those injections to. I met a lot of them, all thanks to her. But do you think we'll still have the opportunity to have it free again? The fifth miscarriage, I took the injection. Even though the doctor said that it doesn't matter anymore. The body has already, the blood has already formed an antibody. But I just said to myself, let me do the right thing. The Nigerian government is already advocating for a legislation to enforce intending couples to check their blood group before making babies as a measure to address the challenge. Private organizations like Rezo Solution Initiative have also initiated measures to help affected women. I met a sister, Mrs. Owen. She gave me some pamphlets on RSI, RSI, a resource solution initi initiative. So I went through it. So when we go to their office, I never knew I was even pregnant then too. After everything, I brought the whole test for him. He now said, okay, that they will keep in touch with me till my delivery time that they will come and give me a um, Rogan injection for free. I said for free, I said yes. And then that injection was 15,000. My husband said, how can a woman give birth and take injection for 15,000? Meaning when the work of the injection will stop, the baby will die. For those young women out there, if we are going to Get pregnant and think of an abortion. One of the things you also have to do for the for your future pregnancy is that you have to ensure that you know your blood group, you know your resource factor, and you take the vaccination if you are going to have an abortion. Today, Florence and Christina have become advocates of resource disease prevention in schools, churches, and other public places. I used to go to schools to talk to young ladies about resource negative. I really went through a lot. So even in my church, at times when I go out to churches, the first thing I talk about is resource negative. Make sure you know your blood 
group. Some of our youths, they don't know. They don't know anything about it, but they have to be educated. Today she also has a well to yes. teach the school curriculum to teach children. To teach children. What I do when I look at women, especially those that are close to me, and I see that you're having issues, I walk up to you and ask what exactly the problem is. And you know it is not everybody that wants to come and share their problems with you. So I try to be friendly with them. We that um, has this information, we should share. To God be the glory, I gave birth, they came, they gave me the injection, and my baby is alive till now. Yes, he's alive. He's a boy. Like, he's one. But to me... He's like ten. What is ten? Ten is just ten. He's like millions. After some time, I got pregnant. And to the glory of God, I had my baby. Your baby was a boy, a girl? A boy, a beautiful boy. Not handsome boy, beautiful boy. According to a worldwide study, Rezos D. hemolytic disease is a devastating public health problem that requires urgent attention, raising the need for proper public education by governments. Hematologists, obstetricians, and neonatologists also need to put in place proper protocol for the management of Rezos D negative pregnant women to prevent the disease and properly care for affected children. Nkoli Omoudu.